And money is a big part of it, a major part, I can tell you this. And until nurses in this country get paid better, we're going to have this problem. I think the more money is an important variable, but not the only one. I think the more money is an important variable, but not the only one. Mm -hmm. My own research has shown that healthcare professionals require security of tenure, and we have reclassified several thousand healthcare positions, primarily in nursing, over the last three years to give them permanent status as opposed to contract labor. The second is working environment. You've heard of the infrastructure development. And the third is remuneration. And remuneration is an issue. Um, there's no doubt that they deserve more. Of course, that has to be reconciled with the public system and the Ministry of Finance, and by extension, the cabinet negotiates these positions, which is now taking place for a number of, of these workers. Um, but I believe that we have to look at it as a package. And I think that as much as we try to give as much as possible in salaries, we're also making a, a valiant effort to improve the working conditions mm -hmm. and to provide the security of tenure, which I think as a package will, will, will incentivize and, and hopefully uh, cause some of, many of them to stay here rather than migrate. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to say something about the nursing issue because there are different reasons why nurses may leave, but, but money is a major factor, I can tell you this. I, I, I graduated from a school in 89. I'm old. And <laughs> I remember when I was doing internship, the first month I was going to the bank on, on campus at UWE, and I gave a nurse a lift, and we are talking, and she told me what her paycheck was, and I, th I thought she was joking, literally. I really thought she was joking, and when she showed it to me, I was horrified. That was 89. It's still not good. Many nurses can't even afford to buy a car to, to, to transport themselves. So many are still using tra public transport. Uh, and, and the one who got assaulted the other day after being dropped off by a bus, from a bus. Nurses very often have to do other things apart from just nursing duties, like lifting patients, transporting patients. And money is a big part of it, a major part, I can tell you this. And until nurses in this country get paid better, we're going to have this problem. And it affects the whole health sector because when you have an experienced nurse working in a hospital and she's used, she has the experience and she's used to that space and then she leaves and then new people come, you have to start training them again. They don't have the experience, they don't know the place and it affects patient care, both in the public and the private sector. Howard Mitchell, what's the fix? That shouldn't be addressed to the minister, but nevertheless, the fix is this, as he rightly said, and, and drawing on my experience, uh, the fix is not just about more money because we can never compete with the established global markets that, that Jamaicans can easily access. But the fix also has to look at a holistic placement of public health in a more important way than it currently is. So that, for instance, I was chairman of the National Housing Trust at one stage. We have to look at the National Housing Trust, perhaps providing accommodation at hospital points or close to for hospital workers, nurses, doctors, and, 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 and some ancillary staff, so that it takes the burden of transportation off of them, transportation and security. Yeah. We have to look at recognizing that the public health worker along with the security workers, along with all the more important, the people who, who are more critical at the point of first, first delivery, get access perhaps on an easier basis to some of the benefits. Are you not setting up the NHT for more criticisms if you're going to be picking? No, well, what I've been trying to set up the NHT for, for years is a, is a re-examination of its purpose. Right? And that's what we need to do. We need to take an honest look at the National Housing Trust after 45 years and say, what's the purpose? Right? So I'm just saying that accommodation is housing, okay? And that there are people who will never want to own a home, but who need a break. And there are people who, need, who, if they get a break in their employment, the nurses and doctors and, and so rest of, can save some money towards buying a house eventually when they perhaps shift from that critical point. 
Okay? So it's, I'm just, I'm, I'm, what I'm trying to say is that public health, it's clear to me personally that public health encompasses more than just being at the end process of a crisis. It involves antisocial behaviors that cause car accidents. It involves antisocial behaviors that cause domestic violence. It, involves, it in, involves mental therapy. And those are what we have to do as a state, as a society, and as a people, is re-examine how we place public health within our priority order. 